Yo, what's good my YouTube family? Guys, I hope you're having an amazing day, my friends. Guys, it's Wednesday, okay? We're at the middle of the week. All right, you got this. Guys, we got a very special video, man. We are reacting to how rookie Larry Bird shut a Celtic vet up in his first practice with Boston goat emoji, baby. Guys, and by the way, I just want to make this known, okay? I haven't been posting as often. I was went from daily to like every other day and it's because i've just got a lot going on man we got a baby ltm reacts up in this bit like our baby's gonna be born in 12 days man so get, cut me some slack all right i'm just getting ready be getting ready to be a father man okay it's a big deal so without further ado let's just get straight into the video man if there's one thing we all know about larry bird that his trash talk is in a class let me of turn itself. that up for you the guys boston celtics star dominated the nba for 13 seasons doing so with a wide array of skills mixed with incredible verbal insults. That said, a 22-year-old bird wasn't exactly boasting about his abilities when he joined the Celtics ahead of the 1979-1980 season. The rookie joined training camp as an outsider, with several new teammates doubting his place on the team. But by the end of practice, the Hall of Famer got the last laugh without uttering a single word. A native of French Lick, Indiana, Bird burst onto the scene at Indiana State. In 1979, one year after getting drafted sixth overall by the Celtics, he led the Sycamores to their first ever NCAA tournament and title game, falling to Magic Johnson's Michigan State Spartan. Despite taking little... Oh yeah, dude, I remember that. Gosh, dude, I always keep, like, I keep wondering, I'm like, did Bird win that or did Magic win that? And it was Magic, bro. I... State all the way to ah the man Larry Bird. Not everyone was sold on Bird, but also his team was like not the greatest. I remember watching a video about this. I reacted to it actually, but um, no, dude, like his team wasn't like that good. So like Magic had the better team, and it was just while Celtics president Red is what it is, man. Type of player he could be. Several of his new teammates were skeptical. Cedric Maxwell was one of Boston's better players at the time of Bird's arrival. Fresh off of a career high of 19 points per game, Maxwell okay. explained why he and the rest of his teammates doubted the hick from French Lick. He didn't impress me no more than any white guy I've ever seen play before. I think that you would say that most black players at the time were racist in, in the sense that we did not think that you could find a, a white guy who could play better than any black guy. That's what I'm saying, dude. Larry Bird is just like, this guy unreal talent I mean completely unreal this dude he wasn't very athletic but what he lacked in athleticism he made up for in shooting and physicality this guy is probably the most physical player I think I've ever ever witnessed like tell me if I'm wrong Along but like that's what skin, that's what I think to impress his teammates wasn't helped by the fact he was on a five-year 3.25 million dollars contract making him the highest paid rookie in sports history. Whoa! More than not, rookies came into training camp on the outside looking in, but few faced more skepticism than Bird. When I walk in the first day of camp, them guys were on the floor stretching, and here comes the white savior, here comes this, here comes that. I sort of enjoyed it, because I knew I was going to battle them all day. But Curtis and City didn't last long. They didn't make it through the first practice. They were cut. So that was just Cedric. As practice moved along and Bird methodically took out each defender, the talented Maxwell finally stepped up to take the rookie down. However, Max was in for a rude awakening. I'm thinking, oh, he's slow, he can't get off a shot. He's not that strong. Good luck. It's gonna be a layup. Bam, locks down the jump shot. Maybe that was some luck. Gets the ball again. Bam, locks down another jump shot. Now I'm thinking like, okay, hey, you know what? I'm Gaining that respect, baby. This guy, yes, I'm, sir. It's like 20 feet away, bam. 25 feet away, bam. I, in my mind, just goes so good. Damn, this white guy can play. Dude, and point. there's something different about Larry Bird's jump shot. Like, let me know if you guys notice this, but like, he brings his his arms above his head like this, and then shoots. Obviously, it works. Okay, it looks a little bit weird, but it worked. Every Celtic knew. What can you say about it, man? Special. It took all of. If it's not broken, don't Eric fix it. To become an NBA That's star. money. A six foot nine forward averaged twenty one point three points on route to winning the Rookie of the Year award. That flies. His second season, Bird and not it, man. played a vital role in winning the nineteen eighty one NBA Finals over the Houston Rockets, with the latter actually taking home the Finals MVP. With Bird. Dude, so that mullet is sick. Made five NBA. Yes, sir. Three of them. 
On an individual level, he secured 12 All-Star appearances, 10 All-NBA nods, 3 All-Defense honors. Wait a second. He won a coach? Coach of the year? Larry Bird was a coach? For who? Okay, I have to react to a video about him being a coach, man. Because, like, I did not know that. Whoa! Three league MVPs. He also finished his outstanding 13-year career with averages of 20... 24, 10, 6? A almost a 50% field goal percent. Oh my gosh! This guy was wet like water, man! 4.3 points, 10 boards, and 6.3 assists, Bird may have entered his first training camp as the, the only person believing in his superstar abilities. But by the time his career came to a close in 1992, the whole world knew he was one of the league's all-time great stars. Tell us in the comments, where do you think Larry Bird ranks in the all-time greatest list? If you enjoy this... Oh, man. This is controversial. All-time list. Okay, maybe it's not. I still think Michael is still just a, a little bit better than Larry Bird. Okay, now we could go into different situations about that. Who are you picking to be on your team? I think I'm gonna have to pick Bird. Like to build a team around, who are you picking? I think I'm picking Bird. I'm gonna be honest. This guy was a floor general. He always found wide open people like his passes were just unreal. His defense was superb. Like, I think that you, the all around better player, like team wise, has to be Larry Bird. But if you want to take your team like a one man show, definitely Michael all day. You know what I'm saying? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comment section. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!